Some of the most praised attributes of the Star Wars franchise are its adventurous tone and its flawless character and set design. To me, the pinnacle of these two qualities is the signature weapon of the Jedi and the Sith, the lightsaber. Lightsabers are not only incredibly powerful weapons, but they provide a magical aesthetic to the Star Wars universe that captured the imaginations of audiences worldwide and left many people asking, how did these things even work? I believe that the vast array of Jedi and Sith in the Star Wars galaxy deserve weapons that are as complex as the characters that fill the universe, so today I'm going to explain to you how the lightsaber works. Lightsabers are very powerful and capable of cutting through almost any material and depicted as difficult arms to hold steady. This is due to its power source, the lightsaber crystal. This is where the iconic plasma blade stems from. Weight is also a factor in its difficulty to wield. There is a large variety in lightsaber crystals that come from a multitude of places like the Adega system, planet Ilum, and Dantooine, but I will be sticking to the most common form of crystals which are the kyber crystals. Kyber crystals are very rare and can be found only on the planet of Ilum. They commonly sport a blue or green coloration but can be found in a few other colors as well, such as yellow, although it is a very rare occurrence. The crystals, however, cannot be found in red, and all red crystals are artificially colored by the leaders of the dark side. Most young Jedi are even brought to the planet of Ilum to search for their own unique crystal to further solidify the bond between warrior and weapon. Jedi and Sith alike also take time to meditate with their crystals, as the crystals take on the wielder's personality to allow for seamless performance in combat. This practice is best demonstrated by Darth Maul and Exar Kun, who had such a deep bond with their crystals that they were able to operate their lightsabers fluently and without a thought. Familiarity with one's weapon would often yield greater success in battle, and is of the utmost importance when using a lightsaber. A strong bond with your kyber crystal can even amplify your force abilities, for the only reason a kyber crystal even works is because it is a tool to channel the force and produce the lightsaber's iconic blade. In some instances, non-force users have tried activating lightsabers with no success due to the nature of the crystal's power and bond it has formed with its owner. Put simply, if it was not for the force, a kyber crystal would just be another useless rock. With all this raw power, there needs to be a way to contain it. Without the right precautions, a lightsaber could naturally destroy itself by melting in its own hilt, or exploding and injuring anyone in its immediate proximity. This is why most lightsabers have a force field inside the hilt that prevents any damage to the inner workings of the lightsaber and helps stabilize the blade. One example of a lightsaber that lacks this technology is Kylo Ren's. Kylo Ren's lightsaber is one of an ancient design that came before the force field was implemented. This is why the weapon has a crossguard. The crossguard serves many purposes such as providing defense in lightsaber combat or even offense as we saw Kylo Ren stab Finn in the shoulder at the end of The Force Awakens but its main function is to provide some form of exhaust and keep the blade stable. Although the crossguard design may seem more practical in combat, the force field does offer similar benefits as well. When a lightsaber comes equipped with the force field, the force field does partially extend out of the hilt, making a slide down a difficult move during a blade lock. The hilt of a lightsaber is also very important for the performance of the duelist, and most Jedi and Sith had hilts that uniquely fit their unique fighting styles. A few examples are Darth Maul's lightsaber with two blades to assist in his very aggressive Form 7 fighting style. Another example is Darth Bane, who had a curved and practically weightless hilt to allow for swift, powerful blows. Another one would be Darth Malgus, who had a hilt with two huge blades on the top to stab his enemies with, and provide a bludgeoning weapon to accompany his highly aggressive fighting style. Some lightsabers even had a dual phase function that allowed the wielder the ability to vary the length of the blade. Darth Vader is well known for having this ability in his lightsaber, and can even be seen in A New Hope as when he was apprehensive to fight his former master, Obi-Wan. Since most duelists would make their own lightsabers, you can very easily see common differences in the styles between Jedi and Sith hilts. Most Jedi would use hilts that had more conservative designs, often made out of different metals, or in rare cases, abstract materials like hardwood components. They were designed handles that were easy to grip, and a hook to attach to their belts. The Jedi viewed the lightsaber as a tool to protect, not to conquer, and an elegant weapon, unlike clumsy blasters, for a civilized age, and tried to keep it as such. This was, however, something the Jedi started to lose during the Clone Wars, as they started making lightsabers with more offensive aesthetics in mind. So there you have it. Lightsabers are inherently interesting and very complicated tools that have become a staple of the ancient ways of the Force. I have to say that the one thing I find most interesting about them is how they reflect the character that wields it. 
The best example I can think of is Kylo Ren, who has a very unstable blade with a cracked crystal at the lightsaber's heart. Similar to the way of his unrefined power and internal conflict of being torn between the light and dark side of the Force. It's little details like these that make all aspects of the Star Wars universe so compelling. So tell me in the comment section down below, if you could make a lightsaber, what materials would you use and what would it look like? What color would it be? And all other things that you would like to include. Thank you so much for watching the video.